to make some rusty metal with some paint. I've got black and chocolate sprinkle, um, some Mod Podge, which I have somewhere here. There we go. And cinnamon. So I do have my little Conair heat tool here. It's not a high powered heat tool, it's just, you know, low. But um, we are going to put out some black. Maybe. There we go. It's a little on the sticky side. Some brown. And I'm just going to open this. Hopefully it's not all chewed up. Nope, it's good. Okay. And I need a something to wipe my hands off with in case they get icky. All right. So apparently I need to shake these up a little bit. There's some color variation in that. But uh, we're going to start with the black. And we're just going to... And I am going to get all icky painted up here. Um, use my pokey tool. And all right, and then we're gonna just pop on some brown, and we're doing it kind of thick. This is just a uh, scrap um, cardstock, um, leftover scrapbook paper. And it was card on the back, so I've used the back side. I'm just going to go ahead and do these. It works better if it's uh, from the video. Now, I watched Natasha's video, but I saw somebody else do this. I don't remember who it was. Um, and I've totally lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon over the top. I don't have a lot of control with this Costco <laughs> variety. So now I'm just going to kind of goop on some Mod Podge. This is messy but fun. Um, and the Mod Podge, when it's heated, bubbles up and it looks, uh, it makes it look like, like the rust. So I am going to sprinkle on a little bit more of the cinnamon. And then I don't know what's going to happen when I turn on this heat tool. So they've all got a... Smells good. I'm not sure if this tool is hot enough to make it bubble up, but I guess we'll find out. I like this one. It kind of looks like rusty wrought iron. So I'm just going to keep heating these until they're dry and then I'll come back and show you what we've got. Okay, here we are. I don't know if this is going to translate or not because it looks like it's coming off really black. Um, and 
uh, let me see if I can bring these a little closer without getting too blurry but you can see there is some rust and I wanted it to look kind of like um, um, wrought iron okay and then has a little bit of rust on there the texture feels like rust um, then this one a little bit more rust this one I put a little bit too much glue but it's still okay it's still usable you can see the rusty areas now when rust is you know when things become rusty the rust isn't continuous it's in places so as you can see on this one this one has the least I think of the rust but um, certain angles you can see the rusty cinnamon color so yeah those are cool now let's see if we can find a project thanks for watching bye now <music>